So what is fine art photography? Well, according to Google, fine art photography is photography created in line with the vision of the photographer as an artist, using photography as a medium for creative expression. The goal of fine art photography is to express an idea, a message or an emotion. So good morning and welcome to another video. So with what I just said in mind, Today, I'm going to try and express myself creatively. I'm going to try some creative expression, or if you like, fine art photography. I'm actually down here on the beach today. Believe it or not, it's the 2nd of November. And just look at the conditions. I'm on a beach in the east coast of Canada in November. <laughs> Beautiful. So I'm actually at a place called the Irving Eco Centre. And I did do a video from here before, the same day that I trashed my 55 to 200 lens. So this area has not got very good memories for me. Anyway, I'm on the beach here and I thought today I would look for some intimate details and see if I couldn't create that type of fine art stuff. I'm going to probably shoot predominantly in black and white today. And I'm looking for stuff like this, uh, some patterns in the sand or these grasses which have been flattened by the tides, more of that later. Uh, being flattened into the sand here and with the light, the early morning light is creating shadows you've got the grains of the sand you've got the light and dark shadows of the grasses and, and black and white I think that will make a really contrasty image so that's the stuff I'm looking for today it doesn't have to be grasses uh, where the tide marks are there there's lots of patterns and stuff in the sand there's pebbles in the sand uh, and the harsh light is creating some really dramatic shadows around uh, the ridges in the sand and the rocks and pebbles. So I'm thinking I'm going to get some nice arty shots. That's the plan. So I have fired off an image here, guys, using the 18 to 55 kit lens on the Fujifilm X-T30. I had it on the Acros setting with the red filter, uh, hopefully to bring out some of that contrast. And uh, I'm going to move a bit further up. See what else I can find. <laughs> November, on a beach, in Canada. So guys, I just want to tell you a little bit about the location I'm at today. We're just outside the town of Buktush, and this place is called the Irving Eco Centre. Uh, there is a sand dune which stretches for a quite a few kilometres right along the shoreline here. And there's a boardwalk. Uh, which stretches for probably a couple of kilometres and I think in the past it went further but was destroyed by storms. Now just a few weeks ago we had post-tropical storm Fiona come through here and it devastated parts of Atlantic Canada. Um, and here was no exception. I'll stick up some images of the boardwalk, the damage on the boardwalk at the far end there. And also in those pictures you're going to see the sand dune which used to stand several feet tall have been totally flattened, um, which is an absolute shame. Uh, it's going to take years to, for that to recover, I would believe. Um, and it was a very important ecological habitat. And the same story is true throughout Atlantic Canada, here in New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland and PEI. Lots of places affected by that storm. But nature has a way of throwing up some beauty. And in amongst the devastation, I've actually, I'm actually seeing lots of potential images. Uh, the pebbles that are washed up on the shore, the grasses that are flattened into the sand, uh, the patterns in the sand from the tide. Lots of potential here for, for images. So that's why today I'm going to try and do a bit of fine art stuff. Uh, I fired off a couple of images. One I showed you back there with the grasses some pebbles on the sand which look really cool in black and white. Now apparently a couple of kilometres up the beach there is the rem remnants of an old pier uh, leading into the ocean. And I have seen some images of that and it 
would make fantastic long exposure fine art stuff. The kind of stuff that Gary Goff does. I'm just not sure I want to walk that far today. I'll walk a bit further and see what I can see. I'm not sure how far that is, but I'll walk a little bit anyway and see what I come across. And as I go, I'll fire off some more images of pebbles, shells, grasses, patterns in the sand. And uh, hopefully you'll like the images. I'll catch you in a bit, guys. Go a bit further up, see what I can find. Oh, wow, guys. Looks like I found it. I said I wasn't going to walk that distance to look for the remnants of that pier. There's actually two pieces here. Be careful not to walk in the sand in case I try for an image. I don't want to put footprints in the sand there. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get that Gary Goff style long exposure because the water is out beyond the edge of the wood there. But it's got huge potential. It's also very windy. Uh, I hope... Whew, I'm hoping this microphone is doing its best to cut out the wind. Uh, I think this one here looks like the better one. The way the sunlight is hitting there is giving some nice colour and some shadow. I'll try a couple of black and whites and I'll also try, I might try a long exposure just to see what it's like but I've only got the small tripod with me today uh, and it is extremely windy. It's not cold but that wind is pretty rough. The stuff blowing around the beach here. Uh, perfect. Uh, Absolutely perfect. When, when the water's up here, this would be absolutely amazing. So I don't think the water would come up any further than here, so... Huge potential. As I say guys, I don't think I'm going to get that Gary Goff style fine art image here. Uh, I was certainly doing my best. Actually, on this other one here, I can actually see some reflections in a pool there. Uh, I'll fire off a few images around here, guys, but the wind is horrendous. Uh, and it's just picked up like that the last few minutes, unfortunately. Uh, I have managed to fire off some, some images back there. The sand, the rocks, the shells, the patterns in the sand. Even did a couple of ICMs of the, the shoreline with the sand and the ocean in the background with the waves. After all, the video is about creative expression. Uh, oh, look at the sand. Oh my god. Not good for the gear. We'll fire off a few images, guys, and then we'll head back. But certainly a location I will come back to. Probably won't be this year because uh, temperatures will probably soon take a dip and this will be frozen. But uh, certainly in the spring. But fire off a few images here and we'll head back and take a few more. Ooh, a few more uh, fine art images on the way back. Let's see what I can do here. I'm using a Fujifilm 18-55 kit lens uh, on the X-T30. Going to have a polarizer and probably a four stop and just see what I can come up with here, guys. So I did manage to find the remnants of the old pier and it was about two kilometer walk past the end of the boardwalk. Fired off a few handheld shots first of all just to see what it looked like. It looked pretty good, so I set up the tripod with the Fujifilm XT30 18 55 kit lens with a polarizer and a tensop. And I tried a few compositions there, trying for that minimalist uh, long exposure fine art look, if you like. Um, I did mention Gary Goff, <laughs> so I really admired Gary's work, and that was the type of image I was trying to get. Unfortunately, the wind was absolutely horrendous. I've only got the small tripod with me and I had to use my body to try and shield the camera from the wind. So I'm not quite sure how sharp we're going to be, but I fired off a few compositions from different angles. Uh, exposures ranging up to about a minute, probably from 45 seconds to a minute, a minute and 10, something like that in black and white. And we'll see what they turn out like, guys. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they're going to look pretty good. Uh, came across a part of a, looked like a part of the boardwalk from previous storms that had been uh, buried in the sand and kind of had been uncovered there. Tried a few shots of that. 
lots of shells on the beach, lots of pebbles that kind of look like a lunar landscape. So I'm going to see in processing if I can maybe bring out the grain, maybe even add some grain in processing to kind of give that arty, old fashioned black and white type of look. Um, some really cool uh, compositions. Unfortunately the wind is horrendous, it's still horrendous, I'm kind of trying to shelter here from the edge of the boardwalk. Um, so we'll see how they turn out. I'm pretty hopeful, they look pretty good on the back of the screen so I'm hoping I can get some cracking images and if they're any good they're going to be in that gallery at the end. I think I'll call it guys, I think that's it. I've, uh, I would say I've had a blast but it was actually pretty hard work walking back through that wind being sandblasted. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how the images turn out. And I didn't break any lenses, which is a good thing. Although there's a lot of sand on the tripod there. As I mentioned before, uh, last time I was up in this area, I broke my good lens and I've never managed to replace it. So Now today is the day that Fujifilm launched the X-T5 and a couple of other lenses, I believe. So uh, if you're watching Santa, Anyway, uh, enough of that. I'm gonna head back to the car, grab something to eat. Uh, maybe just go and get a Tim Hortons and a donut or something. Normally where I'm standing, guys, the dunes would be up here, several feet high, and it's been totally flattened by that storm, Fiona. And it looks like the sand has been washed way back to the other side of the boardwalk there. I'm sure it'll recover, but it's gonna take years. All that's left to say is don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Oh no, sorry. 500 subscribers guys. Big thank you to everyone who's subscribed lately. Uh, just over the 500 subscriber mark. So big thanks to everyone who's supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it. Long may it continue and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe please. Anyway, that's it for now. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers for now. See you in the next one.